Touch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. Ready to begin. In case you were wondering why Rick was talking about Mars, that's why. And were you able to watch this in real time? All of us here in the newsroom kind of stopped what we were doing to watch the final minutes before the Mars Perseverance safely touched down on the red planet. Kind of an exciting moment. After five years of production and an eight month journey just to get there, the rover is going to start its mission tomorrow. I guess we're taking some time to adjust to the time zone. All right. Perseverance will drill into the planet to collect samples of Martian rock and soil in search for signs of ancient life in order to get a better understanding of maybe some past life on Mars. Yep, we're looking for Martians. And why do we care about something that is happening 93 million miles from us? Well, it has to do with this question asked by Sophia. Hi, my name is Sofia Lopez and my question for NASA is, how is Perseverance going to survive? Well, Sofia, Perseverance survives um, with a power source um, that charges its batteries uh, overnight while it sleeps and it keeps heaters uh, on so that all of our critical electronics can stay warm um, as well as our mechanism. Well, that power source she's referring to built by the fine and very smart folks at the Idaho National Laboratory. Yeah, the 208 has a player in all this. Earlier this week, we told you how they built that power source. It's called the Multi-Mission Radioisotope Thermoelectric Generator, or the MMRTG. They're not really good with acronyms there at INL. I mean, INL works, right? Basically, it takes pellets of plutonium to generate electricity. That electricity charges an ion lithium battery, which is what provides the power to the instruments on the rover. So the Perseverance will be able to collect samples and eventually send them back to Earth. So way to go, Idaho, all the way to Mars.